hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all well today's video is my part two of my empties video i did one a couple of weeks ago so if you like this kind of videos i will link it down below for you to watch but i mentioned in that video that i had a lot of stuff so i would be doing a part two video to that one so here is the lucky basket of empty dreams i have got loads of things in here so hopefully i can just go through all of them and tell you a bit about um each product and what i thought about them if you like this kind of videos let me know um and then i will start putting empty things in this basket to do another video but i don't want to make this video too long because there's quite a few things so i'm just going to get into it so first thing that's actually got dust on because it's been in here for so long is this scented candle this is from primark it is a grapefruit and white nectarine it says it burns up to 22 hours i say that's pretty pretty accurate it was a um three wick one i had it around spring summer last year i think um i really bought it because obviously i liked the scent of it but i also really liked the um pot it just has like a really nice like color to it so i bought it for that reason as well um it wasn't expensive oh here we go it's three pound on the back um three pounds so it's not expensive i really like primark home stuff and primark candles um, and they always have like new things in so um yeah i picked up that love a good three wick candle so that is that all these things are going to be all mixed up so yeah i'm just going to have to pull them out next thing is the batiste dry shampoo this is in the shade um divine dark i really like dry shampoo i've actually got some on um got some on is that how you say i've got some on today um i've got some in my hair today the only thing i will say is this one compared to the super drugs own one i prefer the super drug one they're always on offer you can always get like two for 1.99 um or maybe it's like buy one get one half price or something like that there's always an offer on um i do prefer them to the batiste ones just for price um wise and i think the color is also better there's literally nothing coming out of that um the color for the super drug one is better but i still like batiste as a brand so that's that next thing sticking on to hair i have this which i've actually spoken about i think probably before in a video um i did a video all about my psoriasis and um hair loss my hair definitely felt a lot healthier um using this and it also felt thicker so um yeah i think it says on the back that it's also for psoriasis maybe i'm not too sure but i had this and the conditioner um and it did really work so if you notice a lot of hair coming out when you brush and stuff then maybe give this um a go it was really really good next thing let's try and stick on hair stuff um this which is a um i've had this i've had this for ages actually um i don't know how you pronounce the brand i'm not even gonna try and um pronounce it that's the brand and um, this is a moisturizing lather shampoo this was like a bit similar to like how a face mask is like bitty it was like that i don't know if you can really um see but that's what like the shampoo's like it's quite bitty it had bits of like stuff in there um i wouldn't repurchase it it was nice and it did get really foamy really quickly but i wouldn't repurchase it i mean it smells nice but yeah not really bothered didn't really make a difference um to my hair that i can't get with like normal shampoo um next thing hair stuff is this this is the avon advanced techniques oh my stuff's got dust on it that's how long it's been in there for um advanced advanced techniques styling hold firming hold spray this is so good i love this i wish i had some left um i want to put a bit of my hair if there's any coming out um this is really really nice i love the smell of it smells very different it has that still like hairspray scent but it's like sweeter it's like really really nice um and it is the only thing that i think when i curl my hair holds my curls in when the wind blows or anything like that i spray it in and then i like crunch my hair and then spray again it's really really good it does not go crispy or crunchy or um like uh staticky like when you then brush through your hair like the curls don't go all frizzy they stay really nice like ringlets i really really like it and would recommend it to anyone um who is after a good hairspray avon hair stuff is really really good um i'll pop a link down below to where you can get that from if you're interested what else is hair in here oh i have two of these hair um 
hair gels. I have two of these tea gels. So um, going back to my psoriasis and hair loss story, and then I was saying about earlier, I have these. These are Neutrogena best things ever to use if you have psoriasis. I also use them on my body because I've got a bit of psoriasis like on my, on my side um, at the moment, and it's really really good. Like a multi use purpose kind of um product um it has coal tar extract in it so um it's perfect for psoriasis i don't know what else this is and it's hard to read um you can also have it for dandruff i don't have dandruff so um can't really comment on that but for psoriasis it's really really good way better than head and shoulders i would never use head and shoulders head and shoulders just stings um so yeah if you have psoriasis definitely check out t gel or if you know anyone definitely tell them about tea gel because it's the best thing um that has worked for me so yeah that's a must have i think um let's see what else in here is hair oh this um aussie take the heat like heat protectant spray it's like a leave-in spray i think you can use it when your hair is wet and also dry um i really like aussie stuff i really like aussie shampoo love the smell of it it's just like you can smell aussie from like a mile away um in the shops um yeah i really really like aussie stuff that is all the hair stuff in here so I'll go on to this which is deodorant um this is the salt of the earth spray um this is a like natural deodorant you can get it in like holland and barrett and i think some supermarkets um and it's basically like a spray deodorant. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I broke it. It was a really nice, really nice deodorant. It didn't have, a, it doesn't have a scent to it. So if you're um, after a deodorant that makes you smell nice, like this won't. It just gets rid of any odours. I really, really liked using it. It was really different because um, normally I use like a roll on one or like a body spray. Um, so it is really different to have like a wet spray, but it's really refreshing and really nice. Um, I would definitely recommend it. But I think because of my psoriasis, it just kind of didn't react well with me. Um, and I had quite a bit of psoriasis like under my armpits, which is so incredibly sore. Um, I don't have it anymore, but um, it did leave me with that. So I'd be interested to know if anybody else has noticed that. But um, I would definitely recommend it um, if you are into your deodorants, if that's a thing. Um, next thing is this, which is a Mango Passion um, perfume. This is from Primark. I got this when I was staying at Jay's Loads because um, I keep uh, perfume moise in my handbag. Um, but i wanted one at his just in case i didn't have one um or i just wanted something a little bit different so i bought this one from primark i really um only bought it because i liked the um packaging it's like a dip dye um kind of orange and purple i really really like it obviously it was two pound um it's fine for for primark and like to keep in your car or just having your bag it's fine it's very fresh it smells similar to kind of this kind of um fresh like fruity like exotic -y, um scent i actually really like it i probably will buy another one of those if i see one um primark do loads of these um absolutely loads i actually think the primark perfumes are pretty decent for the price of them um just to even have as like a backup like i said keep in your car keep in your handbag maybe keep it at your boyfriend's house or you know um keep it at your house if you're at your boyfriend's all the time you know um it's definitely like you know worth two pound um, to have one of these so yeah i would definitely recommend this scent it's really mm, really really nice smells a bit like a cocktail yeah smells lovely um next what have we got next i've got three actually i've got four skincare things um the first thing is this ombre Lise, um moisturizer <laughs> i was reading the french and i was like what does that even say um yeah this is a moisturizer this is like the best moisturizer you can probably buy um at the minute i think personally um i have dry skin it's perfect for that i tend to have a bit of an oily t-zone also perfect for that um it's just really really good it says on the back for all skin types which i 100 percent would agree with this is the 75 um, ml um packaging that is what it looks like in case you're interested you can get it in places like boots um i'm sure selfridges and more upmarket shops um will sell them obviously you can get them online i got mine from boots um this is kind of to me on the same level as like bioderma <laughs> like skincare wise it's like expensive but it's not like chanel moisturizer or anything like that it's not obviously as expensive as them but it's kind of like your high-end semi-affordable cream if that makes sense um so yeah i would 100 percent recommend this to anyone i bought this absolutely ages ago and um have only recently 
finished it so it's lasted a really long time i know loads of other makeup artists use this on clients and stuff um it's just a really really good really really good cream i would definitely recommend it if you've got dry skin especially and you like to feel really hydrated like me um definitely use that to go with that i would recommend this which is the avon solutions hydra beyond hydrating gel cream so you would use this before and then use a moisturizer like on top of it and this is an amazing dupe for hydroluron it's avon's own one um and yeah it's as good i think actually think i don't want to say it's better but this is more of a like gel thicker cream whereas hydroluron is a little bit runnier um it's still really really good i saw it the other day in boots and i was like oh, i need to get another one of those um but yeah this is amazing if you have dry skin and you um want your skin to be like nice and dewy and stuff next things are foundations i have three of the same in here so i'm only gonna show obviously well here you go one two three i have three of them um these are the charlotte tilbury magic foundations i know she's bought new ones out now this is probably the nicest high-end foundation i think i've ever tried um love the packaging for a start i mean it's just absolutely beautiful the packaging and um, with the rose gold lid and stuff oh it's lovely um i like that it's a glass bottle because it just feels a bit more luxurious than having like more of a kind of plasticky one like you can hear it's glass um i have had a few of these before and smashed them um on my old um kitchen on my old bathroom floor but i do not have an ensuite anymore so that is not an issue in makeup here where i'm sitting um yeah really, really like it the color is really really nice um i can't really say much about it because i actually have one in here as well i think hang on a second yeah i have one in here but i've somehow lost the lid to it one thing i will say about charlotte tilbury is everyone who works there is really really nice they're not big headed they're not snooty they're not you know what are you doing at my counter kind of thing um you can't afford this sort of you know a vibe that you get from other high-end makeup counters they're really really nice um they will do makeup for you if you ask them to if you ask you know can i try this foundation they will do it for you they're really really nice um so yeah one of the best foundations love the shade of it on me and um also love the consistency of it it's very glowy dewy um i wouldn't say bright but um makes you look more awake doesn't dull you down um kind of makeup so yeah i really really like that and my skin agrees with it which is a bonus because my skin is so sensitive this is the chanel perfection lumiere um, foundation mine is in the shade uh, 12 beige rose and um, this is one i have at the minute and this is the obviously empty one um i really really like this foundation i did buy a chanel one which is their like water-based foundation which this number seven one is an amazing dupe for oh but i'm dropping everything i'm like a mess today a walking mess um this is more suited to me so i bought the chanel water based foundation let me get this right i bought the chanel water based foundation and um for my birthday i think and um i went home and it was horrendous i think i got it for my 19th birthday or something so it was a while ago now it looked horrendous on me um i was left with dry patches like it would cling to dry patches which the number seven one does not do it just goes straight over them um so i was really gutted i still had that somewhere i don't know what i've done with oh i think i gave it to my mom i gave it to my mom my mom has more of an like olive skin tone um so i'm pretty sure i gave it to her um to use um so then i went back to chanel and tried this one which so many people had raved about um i think actually i think my cousin got me to buy this one i have a feeling that i went shopping with my cousin and um the lady told me about this one and i bought the first one with my cousin and then i just started using that month to month a really really good foundation very similar to like the mac one that i use at the minute which is yeah um the mac studio fix fluid very similar this is just like a better shade for me i think um yeah can't really rave much about it it's got spf 10 in it it says long wear um flawless fluid makeup i would agree with that i really really like it 
not really much more I can say about that so that is everything that is in my empties thing um my empties thing my empties box basket I think I should get another one. Oh, there's just a lid in there um I think I should get another one because it's like really dirty and stuff so um yeah if you like this kind of videos um definitely let me know and I will start filling up a, another one I will pop down below my kind of part one to this video um so if you like these kind of videos there's another one for you to watch and uh, before that it was literally like almost a year since i did a last one um any video suggestions that you may have make sure to pop them down below also make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this kind of video um i upload three times a week on a monday a wednesday and a friday all at 5 p.m gmt so yeah make sure to subscribe and stick around for that i hope you're all having a lovely monday if you're watching this today it goes up and i will see you in a couple of days for a new video